Hi, my name is Karthik and I am from executeautomation.com and welcome to part 8 of our TypeScript Fundamentals video series. And in this video, we'll be talking about working with classes. So before watching this part, I would request you to watch part 7 since this part is going to be a continuation of that part. Alright, so let's get started. Classes in TypeScript Starting with ECMA script 2015, also known as ECMAScript 6, JavaScript programmers will be able to build their application using this object-oriented class-based approach. Even TypeScript support classes in much neat way of doing it. And that's the beauty of uh, TypeScript because so far we have seen the awesomeness of how TypeScript is really making our code life much easier. And the class is also very, very neat. So the declaration of the class is going to look something like this. You can see that it is pretty straightforward and similar to the class that you work with Java or C Sharp. But only change here is the constructor. As you can see, in C Sharp or Java, for the constructor, we will have the constructor uh, name as the name of the class. That's the only difference. But here, we don't have a constructor, the name of the class. Rather, it is uh, a constructor function and you have to give uh, it as a constructor. So that's the function name. And you need to pass the parameter, which is pretty much same like uh, you do for any other programming language. So that is the only difference uh, well, compared to uh, the C Sharp or Java. And you can see within the class, we can have uh, members like variable declarations, constructor methods, and functions, and you can have uh, enums, etc. And you can see that the get full name is the signature of the function. But if you recollect from our previous videos, for creating a function, we used to give something like this. We'll have a function keyword followed by the name of the function. And then you will have parentheses, parameters, etc. But here in class declarations of a method, you don't really have a keyword function being used. It's just the name or the signature of the function. That's it. You don't really have the keyword function there. That's the only difference between uh, the function which you use outside of a class and the function that you use inside a class, right? That's the only difference. And other than that, pretty much same. So let's quickly see a demo and understand how things work. But in demo, we will really discuss a lot more than what we are really seeing in this slide, right? So for that, I'm going to flip to Visual Studio Code. So, so far we have discussed a lot of things in our course and right now we are going to switch our attention to classes. So I'm just going to do something like this, classes, right? There we go. And now as I already created a class in our slide, I am going to create a class here, which is nothing but a class. So basically every uh, members that you created in a class or the class itself is public. So you don't really have to specify it as a public class. It is a public by default. So class and maybe we can call this as a students class. And do we have something like student before? No, right? All right. So this is the class. And within this class, you can have various different members like variables and constructors and methods. So I'm going to create a private variable this time. And I'm going to create this private variable something like L name or underscore L name because private should be always be in underscore, which is the best practice of C sharp. So I'm going to include that. And then I'm going to create a underscore f name and it is going to be string as well all right and then i'm going to create a constructor so basically the idea here is i'm going to create a constructor to assign the first name and last name value while we create a, a class object which is something but the students object and then i pass them that's it that's a very very simple idea here so again uh, l name and I'm going to leave it as and then F name. And I'm going to say this, this underscore L name is equal to L name. And 
this dot underscore f name is equal to f name, right? Very, very simple initialization is happening here. And then I'm going to cr create a method here, something like get full name. So if you call this particular method, it is going to return you L name and F name. That's it. So it's going to be returning something like this L name. So sorry. We should use a, this keyword here because without this keyword, you cannot get the L name underscore L name here, right? So you need to use the, this keyword. Again, this keyword is pretty much same like any programming language that you use in C Sharp and Java. So it is going to be this particular instance, which is the class here, the student's class, right? So L name plus, I'm just going to do a little concatenation to return it more td maybe or maybe you can just give a space instead of yep there we go and then we can also tell a strict type here because that's what the type scripting is because if it is going to be a method and it always want to be in a string return type you can specify here so this particular get full name written type is string right so if it is going to be number here if you just specify that oops you can see that this is going to throw an error it says that the type string is not assignable to a type number right so this that kind of strict agreement that we can create in written type here right all right so this is the creation of a class and in order to call this particular class again it's very very simple like we do in any other programming language like c sharp and java all we have to do is we used to use the keyword let and let's create an object for the student so i'm going to just say s is equal to new of students and since we have a constructor with l name and f name if i open the parentheses you can see that it is expecting us to pass the l name and f name right so the l name we can just say kk and uh, first name I'm gonna say Karthi. right so in order to print the full name I can just do this console dot log and in order to get this particular member the get full name I can just use the instance variable which is nothing but the s dot so if I do a dot you can see there is a method coming in right the get full name so I'm gonna just use that get full name and that's it I'm gonna just save it and let me run the build task so control shift P run build task and F5 so now we should see Karthik KK oops oh my god See, I'm just printing the L name and L name here. That's the problem. So I can just do this to F name. And I do an F5 again. There we go. KK Karthi. So it is printing a value in here. So this is how you can work with a class with a constructor being initialized the value. And you can call this particular methods of a class using this particular very very simple options it is pretty much similar like c sharp here no change but i'm going to make a little change here so we used to do a initialization of a variable something like this but in typescript there is a shorthand what it basically does is instead of creating a private variable and then using that over here you can just remove this completely completely and you can initialize the variable value you can declare the variable value as a private within in here as private right and you don't even really have to assign a value something like this so now you can see that we are really saving a lot of uh, keystrokes here and let me remove the underscore you can see that we can able to identify the L name and F name here this time using the this keyword this dot you can see we have an f name and l name which is cool right so we have removed the whole initialization of the object variable or the instance variable just private and then passing in the particular value and assigning the particular value in here 
right so I'm just gonna save it rest remain the same only thing is the shorthand is you don't really have to declare the private variables and then you have to initialize that in the constructor this is complete done by TypeScript for you so I'm gonna save it and now if I run this particular piece of code you can see the same functionality is gonna happen right the behavior is the same and let's quickly see what is the change being happen the behind the scene with the JS file so now if I go to the app.js file and if I come down all the way let's see how the class code looks like so here is our class code you can see that it is actually initializing the variable something like this this dot l name is equal to l name this dot f name is equal to f name it is initializing and then it is doing something like students dot prototype dot get full name is equal to function and it's returning this particular value and then this is pretty much same and you can see that basically behind the scene is doing this particular shorthand operation into a function so there is nothing called constructor here basically the students itself is a constructor and it's a function right but in TypeScript it is pretty neat no confusion here and now you can see by comparing that the JS file is kind of confusing but TypeScript is much neat right and that's the power of TypeScript itself so this is how we can work with the classes and the constructors and the shorthand with constructors initializing the variable values and accessing the variable values and working with methods and calling the methods within a class from outside right so that's it guys once again thank you very much for watching this video and have a great day